Okay, folks, so we're back. Uh, I haven't moved anything. Uh, the camera should be in the exact same position it was in. The only thing different that I've added is I added this piece of wood here that would allow uh, that would allow the uh, or keep the sensors from blowing off. Other than that, we've added the 11 blade uh, Missouri Wind and Solar Raptor blades, and uh, the wind speeds are a little bit higher, but but. The fact of the matter is the numbers is what we care about. So right now I've got it under a load um, and it's still spinning. You'll see the light that's on. I'm gonna hold on to the cart so I didn't flip over and hit me. So so that number right now is 18. 15 so that's that's with a load and these blades are still same angle be able to see the production turbine in the background. I'm hoping the wind dies down a little bit so that we can uh, we can test startup speeds. So this is the Missouri Wind and Solar 11 blade Raptor uh, hub and blade set uh, on the Thermodyne uh, on the Thermodyne uh, 12 volt PMA. Okay, looks like things are settling down a little bit. Now, if I take this load off. Uh, it just, you can immediately see an increase of speed, of course, because we're not clamping that thing down. But uh, if I don't run it, I'm afraid it's just going to go really, really fast. Now, there's no doubt the Missouri Wind and Solar Blades are a lot louder. Uh, part of that could be because of the, uh, because they're not sharp and rounded, or they're not sharp uh, edged like the Thermodynes. And maybe that's where some of that noise is coming from. Okay, I'm going to clamp it down. So for this test, we're really not looking at pulling power. I'm going to turn it off because winds are down a little bit. So this is about kind of startup speed. And just a general overview we'll get to the details later so i believe the power's off right now but even it's we're at six right now nine we'll just watch it there's a little bit of a delay. This uh, this sensor updates about every two seconds, so there there is some oddities there where you know you have to watch it uh, for a few minutes just to kind of get the feel of what the actual number is. It's a whole lot easier to be here and feel the breeze and know if it's a six mile an hour breeze or a ten mile an hour breeze, and then you kind of get the the, the verification or validation on the display. So I forgot. I don't think we're playing. Yeah, now we're on. So even at 12 and 13 miles an hour, we have our light on, so we're we're uh, we're able to generate some power. Okay. Well. Don't worry, 
We're not going to consider that miles per hour. We're just going to consider this the base number. You can immediately hear the thing spin up. I'll lock it down. Take it off. You should be able to hear the difference on the camera as well. So it's about a 15 to 17 mile an hour sustained wind uh, that we have just a few feet from here, just a few feet above us. We're going to lock it down again, and you'll see the, it's the same PMA, uh, everything's the same except for the blade set. Zoom out just a little bit. Okay, we'll come back in. Go this way a little bit. Okay, so that's a, looks like about a, I don't know, we need to let it settle down just a tad. I want to make sure this looks as uh, objective as possible, no subjectivity to it, so I don't want to use what I feel or that I'm telling you that the air's slow. I want you to be able to see it on the meter and the sensors. But it's, I mean, you can even identify that between 12 and, you know, 10 and 12 miles an hour, we still have a bulb on. Um, these blades are just able to, uh, to turn. But it's the same PMA, so it's not cogging, it's none of that. It's just the, uh, the Raptor blades. And once again, if I turn it off, immediately it starts to uh, spin like crazy. So I'm going to load it up. Switch off. Here, spin up. I'm gonna slow it down again. Okay, here's what I think I'm going to do. Since our wind speeds have increased, um, so we were at 11 miles an hour just a little bit ago. Um, we didn't have as, as sustained winds as we have now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and pull these Missouri Wind and Solar Blades off again, and I'm going to put back on the, uh, the Thermodyne. Let's see what happens. I'm going to pause the camera now.